Welcome to the lesson where we're going to be looking at regular expressions. So there's the literal notation for regular expressions as well as the object constructor for regular expressions, exploring the different ways that you can create the patterns and then how you can use the match method from JavaScript in order to match that pattern to the string content and then the results that get returned back. And in this case, we're going to be using the global flag so the global flag within the literal notation, as well as the global flag within the object constructor for the regular expression, and then the results that you get returned back. So that's all coming up in this lesson. Create an HTML file, link it to a JS file, open up within the browser, and then open up the DevTools console so that we can see the output of the JavaScript code. And that's what we're gonna be setting up in this lesson where we're gonna be creating a testing pattern for a regular expression and then matching it within a string. So first off, let's go ahead and we're gonna create our string content. And this is just gonna be a regular string that we're gonna use in order to match the results. So checking for the pattern results within the string and create some text content within the string. Create a variable and the pattern that we're gonna be matching for. So we're gonna be looking for the character of A. And in order to get and create the pattern with a regular expression, we're gonna be using a regular expression literal. So that contains the pattern between the two forward slashes. And there's also another way to do a construction of a regular expression in order to create a pattern. And that's using the regular expression constructor object. So I'll show you how to do that. And we'll create the exact same pattern. And we'll call this one mypat2 and creating a new object. Create new objects with JavaScript. We use the keyword new and then using the regular expression in order to create the object. So that's reg and then uppercase, camel case, e, x. And then within here is going to be the string value of the pattern that we're matching. So we're not using the forward slashes, but we're just using a string value. And using the object constructor, typically that's used when you expect the pattern to be changing or you're getting the pattern from an external source. So it's a lot more simpler if you're just using the string value in order to use the regex constructor object. Or if you already know the pattern, then you can just use the expression literal. So you can either use either one and it's gonna result in the same thing where we're returning back the pattern that we're looking for within the string value. So next up, we wanna use a method in JavaScript in order to utilize the pattern. And we're gonna be taking a look at what we can do with the prototype match, the string match prototype. And this is a way that we can match a string result against a regular expression. Create the first result and selecting the string variable and then adding in the match. And then within the argument, we need to include the pattern that we want to use in order. So that's going to return back the result. And for now, we're just going to output that result into the console. So that's the result that we're getting. We retrieve back an index value of where the letter A is first found within the expression. If you have multiple A's, so just update that, it's just going to return back the first result. And we can update this to change the way that we're looking at the pattern. And there's also other methods that we can use within JavaScript in order to match all. So we'll take a look at those a little bit later on. So now let's create that and we're gonna duplicate the result for pattern two, and then output that as well into the console. And as we can see, both of them produce the same pattern and they produce the same results when entered into the match method in JavaScript. Now that we've added more A's into the string and we notice that it's only returning back the index value of the first matching result, it's also returning back an array with the first matching value that we're looking for. So we can add in additional flags and they allow us to add additional parameters within the pattern. So adding in the G is gonna look for all of them globally and this returns back a result of the two A's. So that's just returned back within the pattern that we're matching. And this is a result that's being returned back from the match. And there's other different methods in JavaScript that we're gonna be looking at later on in the course in order to return back different types of results. And then that way you can use those within the code. So now we know that we've got at least two matches for the letter A. And let's also add in the global flag into the regex object. And the way to do that is to separate it with a comma and then adding in the flag. And this is also gonna be expecting a string value. 
So looking for the global, these are gonna be two of the same, and we're gonna be looking for the same pattern match. There's also, with uh, ECMAScript 6, there's another way to do the pattern match. And with the object, we can look for the object using the backslashes instead of the string with the quotes. And the flag is still gonna be written the same way with the as a string value. So let's return back the results for the third way, which is a combination between the literal and the object constructor. And that as well is gonna return back the exact same results into the console. So this is just a simple example of what we can do with regular expressions. Also, let's update the pattern that we're looking for. So we'll look for the word new and update all of the patterns in order to look for that word new. And then also like adding in another few news, and these are all going to get returned back as results for the patterns when we're looking for the match within the string. To get more comfortable with creating the patterns for regular expressions, and you'll be ready to move on to the next lessons.